All right, y'all. So, I'm Warren. You know, in this video, I'm be talking about um, why your ex or someone you love, you know, do devious things to you, uh, manipulate you. Once y'all don't, once you know, separate from that person, cut that person off your out your life. Why they always do dirty, deceitful things after the fact? Because I receive a lot of emails and people wanting to know things of this nature. It's like, damn, I cut my ex off. And, you know, they just been mean, nasty, you know, devious, you know, taking me back and forth to court, putting me on child support, flaunting a new lover in front of my face, moving a new person in the house, you know, even people on my job, things of that nature. So the thing is, the reason why they act that way towards you, because once upon a time, they had love for you. They had love for you. I mean, and once you start showing that person, you know, it's over. You know, my life is not a revolving door. And they see that that bridge is, you know, gone. Now, all that love they had for you turns to hate. So, therefore, they're going to start hating on you. They're going to start telling lies on you and start doing all sorts of manipulative, you know, devious, manipulated type things to you. So, um, all because they love you. Behind all them actions is love. All that love they have for you, is so, it, uh, it appears as hate. But deep down, they still love you. I know it probably like, that don't make no damn sense, Juan. It don't make no sense. If they love me, they won't be telling lies on me, dragging me back and forth to court and all that stuff. Flaunting their new lover in front of me, talking about, oh, this is the best they ever had or ever going to have. And, you know, things of that nature. But the thing is, when those people was in your life, you know, they didn't mean you no good. So sometimes, you know, a lot of people, you know, y'all had to cut them out your life. Uh, sometimes on the flip side, they cut you out of their life, and they venture out there and seen that they, seen that they made a bad mistake, and they ran out of options. They ran out of options. Now they want to come back to you, and that bridge is gone. That door is closed. That's when they start turning to hate. They start turning to hate like, oh, sh I never made a bad mistake. Oh, so you just gonna move on and have a better life without me? That's why they turn to hate. But it's all good, though. Because the thing is, it, you're supposed to learn something from them people and move on. Take what you learn from them, put it, apply it to your new life that you're going to have. Then once you apply it to your new life that you're going to have, you grow from that. See, they're they always going to be, you know, haters and all that stuff and people who are going to try to bring you down. And those people are the ones that, you know, you invite in your life. You can be laying right next to your, you know, your downfall right now. Because the people that, you know, closest to you, those be the number one people that hate on you the most. and try to bring you down the most. Because the thing is, they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you do that gift that God installed in, in you. See, the thing is, everybody has a gift, a purpose, a reason why they on this earth. You know, and that person that you probably deal with, this could be friend, family member, co-worker, whoever. They see that in you. And they don't want to see you act on that. They want to keep you basic. They want to keep you on their level. So when you outgrow that person and y'all separated, broke up for whatever reason, you know, they probably did something devious and you had to leave them or they did something, you know, devious to you and they left you it don't matter because the thing is god installed doing working his you know his thing and he moving you from that situation to the next situation to the best situation now you got to go through some tragic moments to get to that you know to that that great place so when you get to that great place you appreciate that great place a little bit more so that's all part of a process as of as right now, you won't be able to see it, but, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll come out on top, you know, um, I'm living proof of that, so the thing is, the more of this video, 
the reason why your ex do or whoever do devious things to you, talk behind your back, manipulate you, cheat on you, and all that good stuff. Because one, they're a devious, narcissistic ass person, and two, it's all the part of God's plan. Most people are like, well, God, what? Well, how does that make any sense? God make people cheat on me and do me bad and all that stuff. How 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 do that help my life? Just think of it like this. Before Jesus, you know, went off to die, Judas, someone that was on his side, had to set the plans in motion. Think about it. If Judas wasn't the person that he was, the you know, the backstabbing person that he was, would Jesus ever get caught by the police and go through all that police brutality and stuff like that? Think about it. That person that's on your side is setting you up for greatness. They're going to spark your greatness because that pain, that anger, the anxieties, the anxieties and, you know, going through that, you know, delusional thinking, they're going to set you up for greatness. They're going to show you who you really are, you know, and you just got to pressure through that, you know, get through it. And you're going to, you know, you're going to achieve your greatness and you're going to look back on these people and me like, you're going to, you're not going to even hate them no more. You're going to tell them thank you. You know, I said, me, person the other day, I said, I wish this person would have did this five years ago to me. You know, maybe I'll probably be, and I'll tell them where I'll be. But the more of the story is, they hate you because they still love you. That's what it is. Now, I'm going to address a few things in the video. I know it's a little bit long. Now, to the people that complain about old videos and all like, oh, the music too loud and all that, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing when I'm making these videos sometimes. I, I made these videos for me. You know, I don't, I didn't have y'all in mind when I made these videos. So, now it's to the point where I can't make videos really without having music. And I'm trying, I'm trying, but people are like, nah, bring the music back. So, therefore, after this month, I'm bringing the music back. If y'all don't like it, it's a whole list, I said it before, it's a whole list of coaches on this YouTube thing. Thousands of us, thousands, thousands, a lot of us. Skip your ass over there to their page, you know, and um, have fun. And to the other people that are like, well, your videos say in the early videos, like, get your ex back. Now you like, you're against that. Because the thing is, you cannot stay in one spot forever. A man, one man cannot stay in one spot forever. Your mind grow, my mind grow, my mind elevated. As you can see, I'm not in the same environment that I used to be when I was trying to get my ex back. When I was trying to get my ex back, you see me in a different environment. Now I done grow, you know, my mind grow. I, I have gained a lot of more wisdom and stuff like that. Now I'm on the other side, like, like I said, I'm a reporter, like, damn, that shit ain't popping. Watch out for this hurdle, watch out for that. You know, there are certain occasions where you can get an ex back, you know, but a lot of people are delusional. They're in denial. So they, while they're in denial, they think getting that person back is the best option. Like, don't be. Don't be. You know, if your ex cheating on you, you know, doing all sorts of stuff, have you in a trauma bond, your ex narcissistic, you know, things of that nature, why would you go back into that cycle? See, the thing is, you in that cycle already, and that's why you want that toxic person back in your life. That's why. So I'm just addressing these things. So don't cherry pick through my videos and say, well, I like this video. It got a little bit to do with me. So therefore, it, it'll help me. No, when you have a one-on-one -on -one with me and I tell your ass the truth, and I tell you uh, what your situation is, and you in denial, don't, don't, don't get mad. You know, because the truth offends people and I'm gonna tell you the truth I'm not gonna tell you no gimmicks I'm not gonna tell you no sneaky backdoor tricks to trick your ex to get back with you that's not over on their channel they, they got another guy over there for that you know let them lie to you and take your money and like stuff like that don't forget to take the test also you know <laughs> take his test you know but I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real I'm gonna give you the blueprints of what it is. I'm going to tell you first. You put God first in your life. And you work on yourself to better yourself. And you do God's purpose. That's the formula to anything you can anything you can possibly think of. Now with that being said. If you'd like to get in contact with me. Shoot me an email. 
at McFadden.Warren. And um, you can go from there. Or you can, you know, t just text me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Just um, text me and stuff like that. And um, um, just um, we can go from there. Now, with that being said, I'm about to go back to the gym. Y'all take care. Watch out for one another. Pray for one another. Peace. Bounds on.